Hey y'all, NSRA Knoxville 2017, and uh, I found a uh, 66 Caprice. Not an Impala, but a Caprice. It's cool, slammed to the ground. I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Jeff, thanks so much for giving me time to tell me a little bit about your car. Hi, Scotty, it's a 1966 Chevrolet Caprice. Um, frame off restoration, it's a Bahama Blue. It's an S10 color from the mid 90s. Uh, outside, uh, pretty much basic. Chevrolet Caprice. I have my one major modification is the hood. Um, see a lot of cowl induction hoods on these cars, and I think it's a little bit overdone. So I took a '67 Chevelle hood, cut the bumps out of it, grafted it to this hood, made it a little bit different. That's probably the most highly conversation piece about the car. It looks like a 396 hood. It does look like a big black hood. Yeah, right. yeah. Yes. No, that's cool. Yeah. And then you decided, was it originally a vinyl top car? It was. Yes. Yeah, same. Uh, it was a marina blue with black vinyl roof. Man, and you did all the work yourself? You have did it at home. home? I did it at home myself. My friend Mike Christman helped me with the interior and the vinyl roof, but uh, pretty much home-built car. Everything up underneath, is it on an aftermarket chassis or is that all stock up under there too? Factory chassis, it's on uh, Air Ride uh, suspension from Ride Technologies, fully bagged. So it's a Ride Tech system? Yes. Okay. You can lay it on the ground or pretty yeah, absolutely. close? Absolutely, love yeah. it. Yeah. Now, what a cool car, brother. Thank you. It kind of looks stock in here, but you got some carbon fiber accents and a few of the changes. Tell me what you've done. Yeah, it's a little bit retro restored, um, a little bit modified. Uh, originally had a cloth interior with a bench seat in it. Uh, I've added, um, pull that out, uh, homemade console, waterfall type console, bucket trout of a 68 Chevelle and uh, recovered all new interior, new dash panel, new door panels modified uh, just to make it look a little more modern with the carbon fiber touches and um, tilt wheel no it looks it doesn't look overdone it, it yeah. like i said you got a custom touch to it but yet it still fits the build really well and and the build's just low and cool yeah. you know what i'm saying it's right. not it's, you're not getting credit for a, a bunch of wow on it um you know body mods and chops mm -hmm. and things like that right. it's just got a great stance and i love the color of it and like i said this interior matches perfectly thank you very much it's uh what powers this beast? It's got a Chevrolet 350 cubic inch tune port induction out of a 1985 Corvette 704 R4 transmission and just a stock rear end in it. Have you done anything tuned it up or is it about stock horsepower? Pretty much stock. It's a rebuilt uh, ZZ4, not a Z rebuilt, it's right. a ZZ4 with a tune port induction, fuel injection. Very cool. So there you go from NSRA Knoxville 2017, a 1966 Capri slam to the ground looking good. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, don't forget to visit scottydtv.com for more cool content and an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the logo at the end of this video.